is Mary with Mary Making Crafts and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Diamond Art Club diamond painting. This one is a square diamond kit. This is called Catnap by Carrie Patterson. This is 22 inches by 28 inches or 56 by 71 centimeters and I picked up this cutie because he reminded me of my little chunky monkey spice. So just a really quick disclaimer, please ignore my nails. They are healing from some uh, damage from having acrylics on for a really long time. So oops. Anyway, just FYI there. Anyway, um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm going to give this one an unboxing. Um, this kit was out of stock for a while and um, there was a Labor Day sale here just a couple weeks ago. And there was a kit I had to have, and I saw that this one was in stock, and I said, okay, well, I have to have this one as well. <laughs> Let's see if I can't cut right into that plastic. Hold one moment, please. Goodness gracious. Okay, we are good to go. <laughs> go ahead, give this an open here. Oh, my goodness. We have a toolkit, and it looks like the... Um, the bottom of the, the tray has already <laughs> pierced through the bottom of the toolkit bag. Anyway, so we have that. Um, we also have, oh, I can get it out of here. The struggle, the struggle. Uh, so this is just a small sticker. You can use this for whatever you like. Log book, you can make cover reminders. I use mine on the outside of my box to identify uh, which kit this is from the top. And then, of course, we have our Diamond Art Club dust cover bag with our canvas and drills. So we'll take a look at this here in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at what's inside this toolkit. As you can see, we, we already have some little mishap there. But <laughs> let's see what we have inside. Just FYI, you can just open this this way. You don't have to rip the top off. Alrighty, so first off in this kit, uh, you have your tray with a stopper. This is the thing that was sticking out of the end there. Um, you have this little stopper here that will keep your drills from falling out of that funnel there. Shake your tray from left to right to line them up here so they're upright and you can diamond paint. We also have a pen and a comfort grip squishy. Usually the pen and squishy match each other, um, but they don't necessarily match from kit to kit. So you never know what you're gonna get. My squishy was a little, was a little mashed. Um, so I might have to do some finagling to get it on the pen. All right, well, you know what? You get the idea, okay. <laughs> Anyway, we also have a bag of baggies. Uh, this can be used to kit up or kit down your diamond painting. Um, forgot to mention, on this pen, you also have this other side that doesn't have anything on it. Um, that is where you can attach your multi-placers. These just allow you to put more diamonds down at one time. You have some thin multi-placers in here. You have a four and a seven placer. And uh, I promise if you are not, multi-placing now you will be in the future unless you're just you know a purist a uh, single placing purist but um yeah I recommend you keep these because they will come in handy we also have our heart-shaped wax uh just don't forget to peel the plastic off of there so you can get your pen sticky to pick up your diamonds or drills as we call them we also have a pair of Diamond Art Club tweezers. Um, these only come in square kits, so a lot of the kits I've been receiving lately are round, so I haven't seen a pair of tweezers in a, in a minute. So we have tweezers. We also have washi tape. This one's pretty. Um, I've never seen this one before. Little hearts. Just a gold sparkly. Um, if you're curious about how to use washi tape for diamond painting, I'll link a video right up here and you can click that and check that out if you don't know how to use the washi tape. Cute, cute. And then last but certainly not least, we have a little cover minder. And this one is new to me too. It looks like it's a little, little baby resin cover minder. Um, this says love. So what this is, is it has two magnets, uh, 
one, uh, sorry, two magnets, one attached to the back and one that you can take off. If you put this second magnet underneath your canvas, peel your plastic back and then have this one meet it, it'll hold your plastic for you so you can paint in peace. Anyway, we'll go ahead and give this a quick clean up and we'll take a look at the canvas and the drills. Alrighty, let's have a look at our canvas and drills. Y'all know me in these bags. We don't get along very well. See, that's all I had to do was, was say that and speak it into existence. And then, of course, it came out just fine. So all of our stuff is left in our bag here. We'll go ahead and get that out first. So uh, first we have our uh, insert, just instructions on how to diamond paint, QR code that'll take you to a video there. Another QR code to take you to the VIP Facebook group. Um, that's a fun place to go to see what people are up to. And then uh, code for your next purchase. And of course, the two QR codes on the back for iPhone, iPhone or uh, Android uh, to take you to the app. If you have never used the app before to purchase the painting, you get 20% off your first one through the app. So highly recommend and uh, highly recommend their rewards program too. There's like a little imperfection there it doesn't matter <laughs> but highly recommend their rewards program it's a great uh great program and uh you get lots of points for it uh and you can get you know money off of future kits anyway we have our uh logbook sticker here with our start and end date a larger image this is so cute um so gary patterson this artist um i actually remember Back in college, maybe, I had like a little desk calendar that actually had his uh, artwork on it, <laughs> like a daily calendar with his artwork. Maybe it was weekly, I don't know. It was super cute though, and I really remember liking his artwork, so this was kind of like, I don't know, it was like nostalgic to me in a, in a sense. Um, also, this cat, even the shape of him, kind of reminds me of Spice, so I was like, I, I, I need it. It's so, so cute. He's dreaming of little fish and mice. Okay, anyway, so you also on here, um, what I do is I, I actually cut these off. I put these uh, individual stickers here um, on my uh, storage containers for my drills. And then this side, I leave on the sticker back and I put it actually in my drill container so I know exactly which kit those drills belong to. Then at the end is when I paste it into my log book and you know, write my little blurb about it. So this kit is a 35 colors. Out of those 35, we have four colors that are under the number 151, or sorry, 150. I was looking at the 141. <laughs> under the number 150, and that is an Aurora Borealis gem. So AB drills are just, um, they just have like a iridescent like sparkly coating on them and they just kind of reflect light a little bit differently so they're very pretty and what I'll do later is I'll pull them out of our drills and we'll take a look at where they are on the canvas. So there you have our little sticker. Next up we have our drill bag. Um, just something to note here uh, that these drills are actually labeled so if you store your canvas and your drills separately you know which one these belong to and uh, actually right here in the front we have a ton of this 141 or white ab that is that is quite a lot of them anyway um so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our canvas first and then we'll go through uh, the drills individually So this canvas here, I am going to go ahead and roll this backwards just so we have this uh, this laying flat for us. And um, if you had a, a double-sided adhesive canvas without a clear cover, like if it was a white cover, you would not want to roll your kit backwards, FYI there. Um, something to note is that our Diamond Art Club canvases are nice and buttery soft. They will flatten out on their own over time, just for the sake of the video. Anyway, you also have your surged and scalloped edges here that just prevents the canvas from fraying. And then down here on the bottom, you've also got um, your licensing information, and that just shows you that Diamond Art Club is fairly compensating and Gary Patterson for the use of his artwork. Um, so really quick, I'll show you 
just a quick glance at the drill field. It's beautiful. It's clear, crystal clear. I never even use or need a light pad um, when I'm when I'm doing diamond art club kits ever. <laughs> um, it's beautifully stunning, and I see some number ones right here. And um, wherever you see ones, twos, threes, uh, usually those are your ABs. Not always, but but often. <laughs> so. Here we have our super cute canvas. Oh my goodness. I just wanna crawl into bed and squeeze him. Okay. <laughs> like I said, he reminds me so much of our little spice. So love him. Um, yeah, so we have our, our little kitty and he's dreaming and I didn't notice it in the original artwork, but if you look right up here, Looks like there's a little mouse <laughs> peeking out. There he is. Oh my goodness. I did not notice that. So that's really cute. It's kind of funny. Like sometimes you lose detail when, um, when you, when you enlarge these kits and then other times you actually see things that you wouldn't have seen before. So that is really, really cute. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at the drills here really quick. Uh, and then I'll show you where all of the ABs go. Okay, starting us off strong here, we have those two huge bags of 141, our first AB, 208. Another two very large bags of an AB, 101, very pretty blue. And then I love this color, 3814. Next up, 437. Two bags of 775, 743, 799, 993. Look at that for a second. It almost looks like a nine, but I think that's a three. <laughs> 993, 744, 762, and two bags, whoops, bump gel. Two bags of 415. Two bags of 3024. 3817, another pretty green. I like that. 3770, y'all. We have four bags of it. Five bags. Five. <laughs> so I have a feeling that's probably going to be that huge amount of color blocking right up at the top of that background. <laughs> and then two bags of 939. That is a really, really, really dark navy blue. 318, 987, 334. 938, 131, another significant amount of this AB here. 434, 435, and two bags of 3841. And then we have our last little strand here of tiny ones, 3705, 413, 414. Our last AB here, really pretty blue, 136, 356, 989, 798, 900, 316, 948, and 3325. Next up, I'll go ahead and pull out all of those ABs and we'll look at where they are on the canvas. Alrighty, we have our ABs cut out. A ton of this blue and a ton of this white here. These are symbols one, two, three, and four on our canvas. And let's go ahead and have a look at where these go. Uh, starting off here with this blue one, uh, because we have so much of it, you can probably gather that it's going to be kind of everywhere. Um, but basically on this quilt here, everywhere um, you have like right around here in this, whoops, you can't say that, can you? Right around here in this loop, right around the outside edges of the blue squares in here. Uh, in the quilt is where you have that. Um, it is also up in that flowered pillow behind the cat. Yes, I'm like, I'm gonna pull this up and just make sure. Yeah, so this is number one on our canvas. Um, yep, I believe that is it. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't around the outside of him. Okay, so that is your number one. Uh, number two is this fun like yellow it's like a almost it's almost orange but it's yellow um that is actually 
the entirety of the word catnap up there is all this color. So I didn't do my usual thing by putting the, the blues where they go. Um, but yeah, so this is all that up there and as well as the goldfish. So the top of the little, well, I'm calling them goldfish, but you know what I mean. Anyway, our next one is this one here, um, 136. This is our symbol three on the canvas. It's a really pretty color. Let's scoot this up just a little bit. Ugh, I'm a mess. Okay. So <laughs> the uh, three is actually just down here at the base of uh, this little ball, this little cat toy right here. And then our last one here, Sorry for the noise in the background, y'all. <laughs> we have some laundry going on. Okay, so I'm <laughs> coming back here, sorry. Um, we have this 141, this is our white AB. And uh, this one is also very prominent. Um, it is, it can, it makes up, oh my goodness. It makes up almost all of the white that you see in the pillow, like right up here and to the left of the cat here um, is all all this white AB um, as well as the little mice that are going up to the little swirl of fish so yes and then uh, also the white flowers in this pillow here are also number four and I think that's it yes so I'll just put this up here by his pillow um, but yeah, that is the AB placement. Um, I I am shocked. This one actually really surprised me. Um, first off, where all of those ABs are, because there's, I mean, and, and just the, the quantity of them. Not that there are multiple colors of AB, because there's only four, but that there are quite literally just a ton of them. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shook. Okay, well, that is that surprised me you'll have to let me know are you surprised by this one um i really love the colors in it though i think it's gonna look really really sweet once it's all done up um yeah i love it um if it has a cat like i'm in if there's a beach scene i'm in <laughs> christmas kits count me in and there's speaking of cats <laughs> that's spice pumpkin he's like i'm jealous Come here. No, come here. Yeah. Hi, bud. Very smart. Um. Anyway, <laughs> he he comes and he's called. Good boy. Yeah. He's like, that's me. That's not you. Sorry. Anyway. Um. Yeah. We get a little. It wouldn't be a, a cat unboxing if we didn't have. Uh, if we. <laughs> if we didn't have a, uh, we didn't have a kitty visitor, um, you guys, I'm just kind of sitting here on the floor with my like <laughs> legs outstretched, and he sat right here. Loves his mama, don't they all? Anyway, <laughs> too funny. It's too cute. Anyway, so that is Catnap by Gary Patterson. Um, yeah, you'll have to let me know. Do you guys have this one in your stash? Is it something you think is worth getting? Are you going to pick this one up? Yeah, let me know. Anyway, yeah, I always end these so awkwardly. I don't, I don't know why. Um, but yes, so if you have not subscribed yet, and um, you really like cats, pumpkin, this is pumpkin, he's orange. That's how you can remember that, well, this is pumpkin, the one that you saw. Um, <laughs> the That's how you can remember is because he's orange and pumpkins are orange and then spice is brown and spices are usually brown, <laughs> I don't know. Um, the whole idea was pumpkin and spice, like pumpkin spice latte. Anyway, tis their season right now, um, it's almost fall. Anyway, um, yeah, if you like cats, uh, this is a great place to be. If you like cats and diamond painting, this is a superb place to be. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe and hang out with me here. And um, 
For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support and for hanging out with me and uh, always saying hi to the boys. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Uh, I post weekly whipping chats and uh, vlogs along with more unboxings where this came from. Yeah, see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.